According to linguists, the name Bayreuth refers back to the forest that was cut down by the Bavarians to make room for the settlement. Whether this is true or not is unknown. The city itself was annexed to Bavaria only in 1810 and is the capital of Upper Franconia. Its population was always made up of more Franks than Bavarians. The city's opera house is one of the last Baroque opera houses in Europe that remained untouched. Frederick Margrave and his wife Wilhelmina had it built starting in 1745 by the distinguished Italian specialist Giuseppe Galli Bibiana. One of the neighbors of the opera house is the theater where lavish balls were held, and the other is the old synagogue. The latter survived the Second World War only because it is so tightly built together with the opera that has lots of wooden structural elements. In order to protect the opera, the Nazis spared the synagogue. The public considers Bayreuth to be Wagner's city. The composer had to flee because of his participation in the 1848 revolution and only returned to the German territory at the request of Ludwig II, an admirer of his art, in 1864. First settled down in Munich and only moved to Bayreuth seven years later, where he lived until his death. His classical style family villa, the Vonfried, lies on the northeast edge of the Hofgarten and was turned into a memorial museum in the 1970s. Specialists consider the most valuable part of the legacy to be the score of eight operas with their drafts, instructions for the orchestra, and letters. The composer died in 1883 while on a trip to Venice and was buried in the garden of the villa. The Neue Schloss or New Castle is also situated in the Hofgarten near Vonfried. Today, the Baroque Palace houses the local history collection, including, of course, Wagner's statue, and in the other wing, the rich collection of the National Gallery can be seen. Bayreuth is located on the Main River between the Fichtel Mountains and the Frankish Alp and was annexed to Bavaria by Napoleon. Three special buildings of the Margrave family can be seen around the city. In the park of the Fantasie Castle, we can visit the artificial lake and the rock cave. In the Eremitage Castle, we can look around in the gallery and in the dome of the Sun Temple. The Sun God drives his bronze chariot drawn by four horses. The main facade is covered with crystals and semi-precious stones. The historical old town of Bayreuth occupies only a small area. Besides the opera house, the theater, the parish church, and the buildings of the Hofgarten, the only things we can admire are the neat streets and the mostly classicist villas. But that's okay, since everyone comes here because of Wagner anyway. For decades, Richard Wagner had planned to build his own theater where he could direct his own plays, but the death of his patron made implementation significantly harder. In the end, the foundation stone of the Bayreuth Theater was laid down on his 59th birthday. The Festspielhaus, that has become the mecca of Wagner fans, stands on a 380-meter high hill. Gottfried Semper's original plans were simplified by Otto Burkwald under Wagner's watching eye. The theater opened its gates in 1876 with the Ring of the Nibelung. But it took decades for the Bayreuth Festival, organized every summer, to become really popular. <laughs>